Okay, I think this is going to be the last part, guys. Okay, what else, Spirit, for these people? Ten of Swords, Reverse, Traitor. This is how people still had a hold on you. The people that betrayed you and really tried to destroy you in this lifetime, they wanted you to retaliate. They wanted that energy back. Because that means they were still getting energy from you, whether positive or negative. You know, misery loves company. They wanted you to be miserable. They wanted you to be so hurt the rest of your life that you never loved again. Because that would mean that they won. That would mean they got what they wanted. It made them feel powerful to do that to you. I'm getting very narcissistic energy from those around you. A lot of you have been empaths that have dealt with narcissists who did everything they could to destroy you. And when it didn't work, this is why these people are melting right now. Because they saw that it didn't work. They threw out every stuff. They did everything they could to put you in the ground. They're understanding what they didn't hate was you. It was themselves. You were a reflection of them that they did not want to see. They didn't want to do the healing work here with the Six of Swords. They wanted to keep, you know, pretending, keeping up the facade, pretending who they were. They wanted a lot of yes people around them, people that would cheer them on no matter what, people that would celebrate the false self of them. You didn't. You saw right through them. I think you even gave these people suggestions of how they could heal. You were just around them. You know, you saw them. It made them so uncomfortable, you being in their energy and seeing right through them, their false masks that they portrayed here. These people, a lot of people had obsessions with you. A lot of people made like bad deals behind your back. It's like soul contracts. What people do, sometimes you don't have to sign a contract to hurt someone or betray someone, but you do it energetically. You team up with other souls that are miserable as well, and you try to take someone down. This is the case for a lot of you. I'm talking to somebody who has probably had a whole group of people who have tried to destroy you, multiple people throughout your life. That who you thought were friends, who you thought had your back, who you thought were there for you. And they did their damnedest to try to tear you down, put your name in the dirt, drag you through the mud. And you still rose up and you still, again, you still love. And you turned this into a success, a victory. They never expected this from you. They never expected this in a million years. They thought they'd won. They didn't. They did not win. And you're still sending people love. You're amazing. And I resonate with this reading a lot. So this reading is for you guys and for me. But as a collective, think about that power that you hold to rise up from any sort of betrayal. And you're still choosing love no matter what. Even when you didn't know how to choose love. Even when you thought you had to stay mad at these people. You had to resent these people for the rest of their life your life. It took you a long time to get out of that. But once you did, you saw the freedom, the joy, the expression of joy that you now are in this light. You cannot kill the light. That's what it's showing the world. You can't kill the light. The light will always be there. The light will always rise up. You can dim the light for a little bit, maybe knock it off its course. But every time you get back up, you get stronger and stronger. Think of like a strong pillar that can't be knocked over by anything that comes through. Any tornado that comes through, any like gust of wind, nothing. A tsunami cannot knock you over anymore. And this is what's scaring the crap out of people. And this is what is humbling others. They wanted to humble you. They are now humbled. All right, guys.